welcome back to Decorate Your Table with Brenda. Today we're going to do a Mother's Day table. We're going to do it in all kinds of pinks and whites and it's going to be simple and elegant. So let's get started. So to start this Mother's Day table, I wanted to go with pink. I wanted to make it sweet and pretty and beautiful. So we're going to start with a nice pink tablecloth and then over the top of it I layered this, it's organza, the shiny organza in the pink and it just adds that nice, just subtle touch of sparkle. Then we're going to add our centerpiece. I really like the simplicity of this. The flowers are very pretty and it's really going to add a nice touch. So let me show you how I made it. It's very simple. So to start with, with our centerpiece, I wanted to add a little bit to it. So I got these branches. I just picked them up out of my garden and I'm going to add some little flowers to them just to kind of bump it up. To we'll start with, we're going to get our glue gun. We're going to glue on some little leaves. So these are the leaves that just came with the little flowers. I just cut them off. Um, when you're putting them on, kind of remember not to worry about doing down too far because they're going to come out of the vase about here. So you don't really need to waste leaves or flowers down there too low. Twist your branch round and round so you get the leaves coming from different sides. So that's our leaves. It's just to give some little spots of green. Then for mine, I wanted to start with the pink on the bottom and then to get lighter as it went towards the top. So we're just going to take our little flowers. I'm going to glue them on. I liked using these sticks because they gave it a nice organic feel. So we put them into our vase. And they help fill out the vase and fill out the space without blocking the view. Then I wanted to fill my flowers. I'm using these silk flowers, but you could quite easily around the bottom put in fresh flowers. I wanted some peonies. I like the colors. The pink. And then I got some darker pink to help make them stand out. Then I also wanted, I have these little roses. I'm going to put these in as well. tied a little pink ribbon just around the neck of the vase because this vase shapes in so it sits really nicely. And I thought it added a nice little touch. And there's our flowers. They're very pretty, they're, um, they're sweet, and they'll just make a really nice centerpiece for a Mother's Day table. On either side of my centerpiece I wanted to add a little bit more. So these little small vases are just right for just a little tiny bouquet. I used all little fake roses and then to sparkle it up, these were actually Christmas decorations, little Christmas picks that I found that I put in and it just elevates the design a little bit but keeps it all very pretty and simple. So we just set it on either side. So we're going to add some candles. These are just little votives in glasses. And now let's set our table. If only it was this easy in real life. So let me show you some of these layers. We're going with these pretty rose table mats, plain white plates, these little tea sets that I have. It has the rose, more roses in it, trimmed with the gold, and it makes a really nice setting. Some glasses for our mimosas and our water, and all the different layers just help to add to the table and make it look elegant. I like this table because it's very sweet, it's elegant, and it's pretty. If you're getting anything out of these videos, please hit like and subscribe and join me next week. We're going to come out a day early. We're going to do another Mother's Day table, but we're going to do it completely different, different colors, different settings. So we'll see you next week.